Welcome to my channel. My name is Salentia, and I'm a mom who's trying to get her family to financial freedom. I'm paid two times per month for my part-time job. All of my other income comes from side hustles. But today, you guys, I wanted to stuff my envelopes for my weekly expenses for the week of um, October uh, 9th through the 15th. I had to check my calendar because I'm like, oh, I'm making up dates over here. Anyways, uh, this should be a really quick stuffing. Um... I actually didn't have anything left over to unstuff. So, um, what we can do is go ahead and count up um, the money we have here for what we are stuffing. So that's 50, 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. All right, so today we are stuffing 165, which is perfect because I believe <laughs> that is what I'm supposed to have. I'm just trying to make sure that um, you guys can kind of see what's happening here. Um, I'm so sorry. I don't, I'm trying to figure out how to get my phone to stop trying to zoom in on something it has no business zooming in on i don't know what it's doing <laughs> but until i get that straightened out please bear with me um i had it together for a little while and then now all of a sudden now it's doing it again so i will let you know um last week my kiddos actually made um enough money to complete their savings challenge so i'll put a picture here Kudos to them. They actually completed it. Um, they were supposed to save $50, and so all of their allowance or anything they got extra, any gifted money. Um, a couple of times they went to help one of their grandmothers with their yard. Um, they went to work with their dad. Of course, they completed their chores and things like, and doing extra things to try to make as much money as they can to power through and save that money. The goal was to save the $50, each of them, and then they can go shopping. So they reached their goals, and so they did spend um, quite a bit of their money uh, this past weekend. So that was really fun for them. They are going to start those over, um, and whatever they have left in their uh, from their savings challenge, they're going to keep in their spending envelopes to spend. So um, I did still pull allowance, even though they still have quite a bit of money. If they if they decide they're going to still continue on working hard, they'll they'll be able to get their allowance. So first things first, uh, mommy's getting twenty bucks, and um, switching that to twenty dollars has not been very much fun for me. Uh, so I may actually increase it back up to forty. Um, I just feel like right now um, we're still spending a little bit. Uh, but not having the money, that meant that I had to really buckle down and make some uh, grown-up decisions on uh, what to spend my money on. And um, I won't say it's a struggle, but it is definitely an adjustment because um, I felt like I work pretty hard, you know, and I want to make sure that I can enjoy the money I'm making. Uh, car juice, which is gas, is getting $20.00. So I was driving a little bit more um, this past week, a um, couple of weeks, but now it's slowed down, so I'm just going to chill out on the gas. So um, grub and home. So that's our groceries and then home needs. Um, I'm supposed to be putting home into a uh, sinking fund, and I have been, and I have been using it as well, but I feel like this week... We need to go ahead and put a hundred dollars for groceries so we have 50 a 100 and then also i was thinking it might be a good idea to put ten dollars for home uh, that way i can see uh, what i need for our for our pets um, if we need anything else but also for us as well because i'm going to put this ten dollars in here as well for pets but i think that not checking in every single week has been rough for me and it's only been two weeks since I started not stuffing an envelope for home but I think you know household it, it happens so quickly you have it and then you don't whatever you need you have it and then it's gone and so I try to explain that to my husband but 
Um, he really is trying to encourage me to keep it as a sinking fund. So home and health, he wants me to try to focus on keeping those um, in, in our sinking fund. And I think we have a couple bucks left in there um, as it stands. But this $10 is for our pets. And so I think they may need more than this $10. So that, that will come from home as well. You know, that's where I'm at, like trying to readjust and figure out our, our budget. Um, where we're overspending, where we can, um, you know, just kind of get a better handle on our budget. And I think it's an adjustment for me because everything's happening at once. Cutting back mommy, trying to figure out gas, um, trying to change home and health to a sinking fund. <laughs> It's all happening at once. I think if you work on one task at a time, it makes it a little bit um, better. But I think um, this is the way we have to do it right now just because our finances are screaming for it. So we're just going to do that. All right, so this should be $10 left for my kiddos, Vincent and Victor. Now, I don't just stuff the, the $5 each into their envelopes. They have to earn the money. Um, so if they don't earn it, then that's great. But typically they do. They, they know once they, I think it's happened a couple times where they have not gotten their money and they're like, well, what happened? You didn't do any work. You can't make money unless you work for it. <laughs> and they said, well, how come we don't get credit for, get money for cleaning our room? I said, that's your space. That, that is what you're supposed to keep maintained, you know? And then the, anything outside of that, that means you're helping the rest of the house. You know, so they, they don't get it. They, they think that because they cleaned their room, they should get an allowance. I said, no, that's your space. You take care of it. So anyway, so we should have $10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 bucks. Okay, so this will actually go into my safe. And when they actually earn the money, then they can have it into their, um, into their cash envelope or into their savings challenge, whichever they um, decide. I've been letting them decide, you know, how they want to spend their, their allowance because they are, in fact, working for that money. But I think that's it, you guys. I think we are all caught up. Um, and I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. Uh, I do totally appreciate you guys continuing to show support. Even th though my videos are chaotic, I sometimes just, I don't have a clue. I'm just going for it. And sometimes I have to make changes. And I think everybody can relate to that. Like you have to make changes. You have to adjust your budget. You have to be realistic in terms of what your needs are and what your family's needs are. And uh, it's, it's always changing over here. So I appreciate you. But you guys, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All of the things that can keep us connected. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Feel free to check out Salentia and Cassie J Creates. We're on Etsy, Big Cartel, and you can find us on Instagram. I will link those down below. And shout out to Kadema for my wallet. I haven't um, figured out my cash envelope situation yet, but I, I love it. Even as just keeping it on display, like having it in my videos. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. Um, and then I, I did get a question, like, what is this little book? It's not a book. It's it's actually just a little box that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, so I thought it was super cute. And so I'm just, like, just using it for videos. And um, I am going to put some stuff in it eventually. But uh, for now, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.